Hi everyone and welcome again to Creative Cakes by Sharon. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this beautiful Cinderella cake. I've had heaps and heaps of requests to create a Cinderella cake so the timing is perfect with the new Cinderella movie which is just around the corner. Cinderella is part of my Disney Princess Cakes playlist so make sure you add this playlist to your favourites and check out all of my other Disney princesses including Snow White, Aurora, Ariel, Elsa and Anna and many more. Also make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials. I'm super excited to show you how I made this Cinderella cake so without any further ado let's get started. So I have here my template of Cinderella and you can get a copy of this in the description box below. I've got a 10 inch square cake, I've got my cake board, a fondant roller, a large serrated knife, a normal sharp knife, my offset spatula, a palette knife, I've got my X-Acto blade, I've got a blue and black edible marker, I've got some nice fluffy brushes, I've got some buttercream frosting and some chocolate ganache. I've also got some petal luster dust in pink, blue and cream. I'll be using some blue sanding sugar today, a little bit of water. I've got some skin toned fondant, some yellow fondant, some blue, a little bit of black, a tiny bit of white and a nice deep pink colour. So the first thing I need to do is cut my cake in the middle, fill the centre with my buttercream frosting. and pop the top back on. Then placing the template onto my cake, I'm going to use my knife to cut all the way around the edges, but just before I do, I'm going to lift up Cinderella's earrings because I don't need to cut that part out of the cake. When I remove the excess cake, I need to just retain one small piece, which I'm going to use for the top front of Cinderella's hair. So using the template as a guide, I'm just going to use my offcuts to cut out a thin slice of cake and form it into the shape of the top of her hair. Then using a little bit of buttercream, I'm just going to attach it to the top of the cake. If you've seen any of my other Disney Princess tutorials, you'll know that I love to add some carving to the cakes to create some different levels and dimensions. But for Cinderella, I don't need to do too much of that. All I'm going to do is remove the side parts of the template of her hair and just make a diagonal cut into the cake, removing this little piece of cake so that the sides of her hair taper away from her face. At this stage I can now cover my entire cake with the chocolate ganache, making sure that I catch all of the crumbs and trying to get a nice even smooth surface and then it's off to the fridge for about 10 minutes to set. When the cake comes out of the fridge I've already got my offset spatula heating up in some boiling water and using a paper towel to wipe off any of the excess water I'm just going to smooth the spatula over the surface of the ganache until I have a nice smooth even finish all over my cake. I can now carefully transfer the cake onto the cake board and get ready to start covering it with the fondant. The first section I'm going to work on is Cinderella's face and I've rolled out here some of my skin toned fondant to about 2 to 3 millimeters thick and I'm just going to use my template to cut out the shape I need making sure that I leave enough clearance on the sides so that I have enough fondant to go down the sides of the cake. Before I put the fondant onto the cake I'm just going to create a little nose for Cinderella using the template as a guide. Once I've carefully positioned it on the cake I need to smooth out the top bridge of the nose so that the fondant blends in nicely into the ganache. Then I can cover the cake with the fondant that I've cut out, smoothing down all of the sides and trimming off the edges. Before the fondant sets and gets a little bit brittle, I'm just going to shape Cinderella's nose and use the back of my paintbrush to create two little indentations for her nostrils. 
Moving on now to Cinderella's hair, I've rolled out my yellow fondant and again I've got my template for the top part of Cinderella's hair which I'm going to cut around making sure I cut enough around the edges so that it covers the back sides of the cake. Once I've done the top section I'm going to do the two sides of Cinderella's hair. Followed by the very top section of her hair with a nice long piece of yellow fondant. Again while the fondant is nice and soft I'm going to use the back of my paintbrush to create some indentations in Cinderella's hair to create a little bit more definition. At the front of Cinderella's hair, just over the top of her forehead, I've just rolled out three pieces of fondant which I've tapered on the edges and I'm just going to blend them in to give a softer look to the front edge of her hair. You can see here that I've used some of the blue fondant to roll out Cinderella's earrings and her headband and to jazz it up a little I'm going to cover it with some blue sanding sugar. So first I need to coat the headband and the earrings with a little bit of water and then sprinkle the blue sanding sugar over the top. When I lift up the fondant all of the excess sanding sugar falls off and I just need to adhere it onto the cake again using a little bit of water. For Cinderella's mouth I've got my white and deep pink fondant here and I'm first going to roll out a very very thin piece of white fondant for her teeth and then using the deep pink fondant I'm going to shape both her bottom and top lip using the template as a guide and then place it over the white fondant and then carefully position it onto the cake. To make Cinderella's eyes it's very similar to creating her lips, first starting off by cutting the template down, first cutting out the white sections of the eyes, then cutting out the blue parts of her eyes, followed by some black fondant for the pupils and two little white balls of fondant for the reflections in her eyes. Then using the template as a guide I'm going to carefully adhere them to the cake. Using some black fondant I'm going to roll it out very thin to create the top of her eyelid as well as each individual eyelash as well as the eyebrows and again using a very very thin piece of black fondant I'm going to frame the outsides of her eyes. Cinderella is pretty much all done but I just want to add some finishing touches. I've used my black and blue edible markers to frame her eyes. I'm going to use a little bit of blue petal dust to add some depth to her eyes. The cream petal dust will help to contour and shape her face and of course I'll use the pink to add some eyeshadow and some soft blush tones to her cheeks. And here she is my finished Cinderella cake. Guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if you did don't forget to let me know by giving it a like, you can also drop me a line in the comment section below or connect with me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram or Twitter. Don't forget that you can stay up to date with all my tutorials by subscribing to my channel. Remember that I have plenty of other Disney Princess cake tutorials that you might like to check out. I look forward to you tuning in next time and as always thanks for watching.